The news of Yumi and Jibsat's 48-hour blackout has sparked furious debate on social media. But while the row between the local TV distributors and Jib Telecom has been rumbling on for some time, the first night's blackout hit home for many. I think they should, they should get together and sort it out between, between themselves, but not to, interf- to, to make the public suffer. Because there's a lot of old people that depend on the television. So Have you been affected? Not really. <laughs> No, really. But my, my husband was because he wanted to watch the football last night and he couldn't. There's no problem to me because I've got, I've got Sophie also, so I can go on to, on to Sophie. But it's, it's a row. Anyway, you know, there's a lot of people who are elderly and all they know is um, the, the uh, channels from Gibsat or from the others. I mean, it's, it's all money finances that's all I think and I'm not so bad because we get Netflix but I've got my mother-in-law she's 87 lives on her own and she can watch television so I don't think that's very nice is it I see them fair que no quiten en two days el television cuando está pagado really no no happy no because I don't watch television it doesn't bother me my kids probably were really unhappy last night yes mm. put it that way maybe they don't have uh agreement by by the firm all right or supplier but i mean it's been there for years and people have not uh, bothered about it so what what can i say i mean if it's not finance i don't know what it is in answer to gbc questions the government says it's made direct representations to the largest media companies and continues to do so in respect of the legal availability of content in gibraltar it says the outcome of those conversations has made some such companies already having made their content legally available in gibraltar and adds it expects these companies and more to make their content legally available on the rock in the near future Additionally, Number 6 says it's clear to the government that as technology changes, consumers will have to change the way they access licensed content in order to ensure that they consume content legally. The Chief Minister's personal intervention means Yumi and Jibsat clients can switch on their TVs again tonight, but the dispute between the TV distributors and Jib Telecom is likely to be aired for far longer.